All right, so we're going to do a video on the resurrection plant. And I picked this up on Amazon. I forgot I paid like about six bucks for it. It's called the Jericho flower. That's one of the names for it. And this is the botanical name. I hope you can see this because I can't see it on the camera. All right, you can read that little tag. And it's called the, I, can't, I don't have my glasses, the Sengiella Lepid. Dophilia, I think that's something like that. But that's the plant, that's the actual plant. There's a couple versions of this plant. There's an African version which kind of stays brown. And then there's, uh, there's like two or three other versions of this type of plant. This is the actual resurrection plant itself. Uh, a lot of people use this plant in some kind of, I don't know, some kind of witchcraft or something. or. It, there's some kind of spells uh, people use it for, which I don't know anything about it, but... And it's also used medicinally, too. This plant can actually be consumed for medicinal reasons. Again, you need to look that up online. If I find any information, I'll put it down in the links below. And I'll include some Wikipedia information about it. But basically, this plant is completely uh, dried and dead at this point. And when we wet it down, it's supposed to turn green and then come back to life and that's called the resurrection that's why they call it the resurrection plant all right so let's let's open this up and take it out now this is quite a big one this is the biggest one i've ever actually it's kind of it's full it's very flaky and dry so you got to be real careful with it when you're handling it All right, so you got to be kind of careful handling this thing. You you don't want to break it apart. It's very delicate. So what you're supposed to do is just take this and sit that in the water over here. I'm going to rinse this down a little bit to give it a head start so it doesn't take forever to absorb all that water. So we'll give this a little bit of a wet down under the sink, and then we'll put it in there, and then uh, we'll watch it grow. I'm going to try to do it in a time-lapse fashion so you can watch it grow, but... I don't know if my batteries are actually going to be uh, good enough to last that many hours. It takes a few hours for it to do this. So let's, uh, let me wet it down. And let's put it in the bowl with water. Now, hopefully it expands in a nice flat fashion. But no guarantees so I'll leave it like that and uh, I'll shut the camera off and I'll just come back on and just film for like you know maybe 10 seconds or something at a shot just so you, you know, we can time lapse it that way that's probably the best way for me to do it and that way I can get a whole video recording of the plants full expansion of its resurrection on one battery rather than me having to try to change multiple batteries and try to speed this up all right so let's uh let's see what happens all right so this is like an hour later and you can see it's beginning to unfurl nicely and yeah you're gonna have pieces fall off of this thing because while it was in its dry state it was kind of Just, you know, in shipping and everything, it kind of breaks up a little bit. But it's unfurling pretty nicely. I don't see any green color in it yet. Now, from what I've read on these, uh, a lot of the times when you get them, they're dead. Meaning, they will, they, the plant will still unfurl, but it, the plant's not alive anymore. So... You want to get that plant while it's still green, and most of the places that sell you these plants are already dead. Because they pick them and they sit them in, in their warehouses for too long in hot environments, and eventually it dies. It's plant, even though it'll come back basically from the dead, it still needs a certain amount of light and moisture. You can't just like bury it for years in your closet and then open it up and expect it to be alive, you know. Because this plant will, die eventually from what I've read on it so 
it's it, it, what a lot of times what happens is they unfurl and they're brown at first, but then they turn green down the road. So don't be discouraged if you don't see it turn green right away. You might see a good portion of it turn green, which still means it's still alive, which is good. That's what you want to see. So it doesn't mean that it's totally dead. But a lot of times you'll get these, they'll just be brown right out the gate, but they open and they close. It doesn't mean that that's alive. It's just that the type of cell structure inside the plant will do it mechanically. I have one outside that's basically dead. Now this is a pretty good sized plant, so I would imagine that this thing, it does have some green in here that was dried green, so I'm, I'm assuming that there's this one's probably at least 50% alive or still somewhat good. So we'll see what happens and we will uh, give you an update in a little bit. I'll just do some snapshots. I won't really narrate anything. I'll just let you see what it looks like. But so far so good. It's unfurling and it's kind of it's kind of doing its thing here. Just kind of picking out some of the dead stuff because there is going to be some dead foliage in there you know so all right i'll give you an update in a little bit okay so this is like three hours later and it's still opening up it's still it's becoming more flexible and i do see some greening in there already so that's a good sign this is probably i don't know how good the light is here it's just a cloudy day again, you know, it's just been really cloudy, so I'm not really getting the best light. Try to bring you up on that. And you can see it's really unfurling pretty nicely. And there is some light green in it, so that's a good sign that this is actually a living one. So hopefully, we can see what it looks like. You don't want to play around with it like I'm doing too much. You just, eventually once it opens up, you want to get all the broken pieces out of there. You don't want it to, to leave that in there. But l let it keep on furling. Hopefully, it's not going to turn green right away. It takes a little time for it to get green. You don't generally want to put them directly in sunlight, but you do want indirect sunlight. So they need a little bit of sunlight, but they don't need to be directly in sun from what I remember. So this is good. This is this is a big one. This one's got some weight on it. I actually got lucky and got a pretty good size on it. I mean, this thing's a monster, actually. It's going to be a nice big wide one. Hopefully it gets nice and green and I got a nice healthy one. Maybe I'll do a giveaway and I'll give it away or something. But all right, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so that's like three and a half hours, and it's looking pretty good. It's got some green in it already, so that's kind of a good thing. See, like, there's some of this is green, like that. Where are you? See, like, little pieces green. So there's a good chance that this might be a living plant, but from what I've read, most of these are more than likely dead. So just wanted to give you an update on it. Try to give you a view. I don't know what best way to get the light on this. But, alright, just wanted to give you an update. Alright, so it's about four and a half, maybe five hours since I started this. And it's unfurling quite a bit. It's still got a ways to go. This thing's really going to have to sit overnight. But it looks pretty good. There is some green in it, I can see. And so that's a good sign that it's a, a living plant and not a dead one. And then, like I say, in a couple of days, a lot of this brown stuff will actually come to life. So what I'll do is once it fully furls out and it's, the plant is fully uh, spread out, I'll eventually rinse it under the sink to get off all the broken particles because you can see there's, there's going to be quite a bit of this stuff in there. So we'll get all that out of there, we'll clean it up 
and then we'll give you a final view but I might do one more update before I get to that point and I show you it fully furled out so just wanted to give you a quick look at it and show you what's going on all right getting closer <laughs> still unfurling sucked up a lot of that water too getting closer I don't want to mess with it it's probably gonna to have to sit out overnight like this slowly absorb that water it'll come to Okay, so this is the next day, and I don't think it's going to unfurl any more than what you see. It might, but it looks like it's pretty much done unfurling. I'm not sure if these ends are completely dead or why they stay curled. Maybe they'll unfurl in a few days. If something like that happens, I'll update you. But you can see that there's a nice green center on the inside of that plant and that's what you want to see with these plants and in general with the water you really don't want to keep too much water in it because these plants they generally get their moisture in the desert from humidity in the morning the morning dew waters them they open up they stay around for a while then by the end of the day they're already closed up and they do this almost on a daily basis so they're not used to a lot of water so you don't really want to soak it in a lot of water I'm only doing it now because I'm trying to hydrate it and get it to fully open it doesn't look like it wants to fully open but the inside of it's green so that does mean that the majority of it is alive but it does look like some of it around the outside could be dead so I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this particular plant but it's still got some coils and curls in there so I'll leave that alone and I'll let this sit around for a while and like I say if it unfurls anymore then I'll give you an update if it doesn't unfurl anymore and it stays like this in about a week to two weeks after this I'm gonna let it dry back up into a bowl and I think they say to let it sit for roughly like that like uh, a month or two months or something like that so and then you can re more hydrate, hydrate it now as far as trying to grow this plant and trying to cultivate it I've read a lot of stuff online about that and there's really not really been very many success stories on trying to cultivate it get it to flower and stuff like that <clears throat> this plant is in the tumbleweed family so it, it kind of reproduces like that plus it has very specific soil requirements which is not the same thing as like you putting it in potting soil and letting it grow this plant really needs to be in an environment where it comes from in order to reproduce and so on and so on so trying to cultivate it for you know reasons of interest or you maybe want to grow it for a few years you're not going to do it because it really needs a specific environment to be able to reproduce so it's not as easy as it, you might think it is and some people may claim oh yeah you just put it in soil and water it and it grows I mean I'll try that but that's from what I've read no it needs a very specific environment from where it comes from it, it grows out there and it's the way it grows so forget about cultivating it this is just more or less a novelty really it's not really meant to be grown for any specific reason and uh, you know I mean you're not gonna what else you're gonna do with it now I did want to point out on here if you can read that it says used in love spells where you are seeking to bring to life love that had died I, I don't have my glasses so I'm kind of struggling here or create love where there was none before so they use it for love spells or something, the white witches or what black magic, I don't know. They use it for love spells, so 
that's one of the purposes. I didn't get that in the first part of the video, but I seen it on here now. But yeah, all right. If I see anything going on with this other than it just sitting here like this, I mean, I don't know why it's curled up like this. It's kind of dry on the ends, but it should be taken into moisture. If again, if it completely flattens out like it's supposed to do, then I'll update you. If it doesn't, then that'll be the end of the video. All right, so uh, that's it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, folks.